This week's new comic book day is just a couple days away, and today I'm going to be going over all of the upcoming issues. I'm going to be covering their variant covers, if it's the beginning or the end of an arc, or if there's any first appearances. So keep watching this video to hear all about this week's upcoming issues, and stick around to the end to hear which issue I'm most looking forward to this week, and which issue I think you speculators need to be investing in, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone, AR Comics here, and today I'm going to be going over all of this week's upcoming issues, but before I get into that, if you are new to the channel, I drop weekly comic book content that includes upcoming book releases, speculation videos, unboxings, and comic book hauls, and I also do new comic book day reviews, so if that sounds like something you do not want to miss out on, make sure you hit the subscribe button down low and the little bell to get notified every time I drop new content, you won't regret it. And now, without further ado, let's get started on this week's books. So in my opinion, I don't think this week's new comic book day is going to be nearly as big as last week's. There's not as many big name titles or hyped up series that are dropping, but there are a lot of brand new series that are being released, so it could still be a pretty big one. Today I'm going to be covering AWA Upshot and Aftershot comics together because they're both kind of having a lighter week. So the first one on my list today is Year Zero, Volume 2, Issue 1 by AWA Upshot. It only has a cover A, and I love this series. I think it's so good, I love the artwork, and it is a brand new arc. For all of you people who have been reading it, this new arc is going to be written the exact same way as the last one as far as it's like a group of people that you're following and this new arc is going to be just a brand new group of people so it is a great jumping on point for everyone who hasn't had an opportunity to read it. I highly suggest it. It is a very good one. But that is the only issue from AWA Upshot this week. Next we're going to be moving on to Aftershock, Lonely Receiver number 3. It only has a cover A and I'm going to be skipping out on this one. I skipped out on issue 2. It's kind of a weird story, not a big fan of the artwork. If you are reading it, let me know down low in the comments section what you thought about issue 2, because if I find it, maybe I will end up picking it up, but as of now, skipping out on it. However, Aftershock does have a brand new series dropping called Red Atlantis. It only has a cover A. I'm just going to read a little bit about it for you. It says, a series of unexplained violent crimes on election day around the U.S. leads the FBI to zero in on a covert group of Russian terrorists. When a Texas journalism student named Miriam accidentally finds herself mixed up in the investigation, her life will never be the same with political espionage, treason, and even mind control. Can she clear her name and stop the U.S. from entering a brand new Cold War? I think that sounds awesome. If I get an opportunity, I will be picking this one up. However, a lot of comic shops in my area, they don't really get a WA or Aftershock comics. It's only kind of on a special order, so they're a little bit harder to come by. But those are the only issues coming out from those two publishers this week. I will be picking up Red Atlantis number one if I can get it, and I will definitely be getting Year Zero Volume 2 number one as well. But next up on our list, we're going to be going over Image Comics. So as I was saying earlier in the video, I do think this is going to be a lighter week for New Comic Book Day. However, I think Image Comics is going to have one of the best weeks of all the publishers. First up today, we have Bomb Queen, Trump Card number three of four. It has a cover A and a cover B. I skipped out on issue two, so I'm going to be dropping this one as well. I read the first issue and I didn't really like it. The whole story is mainly about politics and I'm not really into politics. And another big turnoff for me was that it's only a four issue run. And personally, I try to stay away from those. I try to get something that's a little bit more worth my money. From that though, we have Coffin Bound number 8. It only has a cover A, and for those of you keeping up with it, it is the end of the arc, so you don't want to miss out on that. After Coffin Bound, we have Crossover number 1. It has a cover A, B, C, and D. This is written by Donny Cates, and this is a very hyped up book in my opinion for this week. I'm going to be getting it. I'm really looking forward to it, so I'm just going to read a little bit about the description so you can make your own opinion. Imagine everything you thought was fantasy was real, and now, join us in a world where reality is dead and anything is possible. They're keeping it very vague, I like that. However, I am going to make a very unpopular opinion, and I think this issue and this whole series is going to be overhyped. A lot of people love Donny Cates, including myself, but I don't think his stuff is as good as a lot of people are making it out to be, and I think this one's going to get blown over a little bit just because his name is on it. After crossover them, we have Firepower number 5. I love this series so far. It only has a cover A. I'm really looking forward to this one. And after that, we have Goddamned Virgin Brides number 4 of 5. Only has a cover A, so if you're keeping up with this one, series is wrapping up. I skipped out on that one in the beginning. I didn't really like it. I didn't think the artwork was very good, and just the description of the story just didn't sound like it was something I was interested in. 
After Goddamn Virgin Brides, we have Inkblot number three. It only has a cover A. I read the first issue. I did not like it. It was not for me. The artwork wasn't bad, but just was not a fan of that story. Then we have Lost Soldiers number four of five. Only has a cover A, so that series is also coming to an end very soon. And then we have Moonshine number 22, only has a cover A. I've read the first few issues of Moonshine. I like the artwork and I really like the story, but I was so far behind, I'm just waiting for a trade paperback or a hardcover that has a, like a whole collected edition for it. And next up after Moonshine 22, we have Pretty Violent 11, only has a cover A, and this is the end of the arc. I don't think I'm going to be picking up this issue. I think I missed out on the last one, but in my opinion, this is a series that is better read in a trade paperback. I don't really remember a lot of the characters' names, and the issues are kind of released sporadically, so I'm kind of forgetting what's really going on, and I would really enjoy it a lot more if I just read it all at once. But after Pretty Violent, we have That Texas Blood, number 5. It only has a cover A, and I skipped out on issue 4 because I wasn't really a big fan of the series, so I don't think I'm going to be getting this one, but please let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about this series so far. I might go back and reread it, see if I can find issue 4 and go from there, because it seems like something I would really enjoy, and I did think it was going to get a little bit better, but I just gave up on it. And the last book we have today from Image is Walking Dead Deluxe number 2. It has a bunch of different covers. I'm not grabbing this. I picked up the first issue just because I wanted something with Walking Dead and it was really nice to see it all in color. But if they think I'm going to be grabbing all of these issues just because it has color, they are out of their minds. They have made so much money off of me already just from different comics, variant covers of it. I am not investing myself into this too. But those are all of the issues this week from Image Comics. I'm definitely going to be picking up Firepower number 5. Only as a cover A, so that's the one I'm going to be getting. And I'm definitely going to be grabbing Crossover. I'm really looking forward to it, despite I was thinking it might be a little overhyped just because Donny Cates' name is on it. But it is from Image. I like a lot of Image comics. And I think he's done a great job with a lot of things he has done. So I'm looking forward to that as well. I'm going to try and get cover A. I'm not really too concerned with the variants. And I'm going to grab Coffin Bound number 8. It's the end of the arc, and I am looking forward to reading this story at some point. But that is it from Image, now we're going to be moving on to Boom Studios. So I really like a lot of the issues that Image is dropping this week, but in my opinion, I don't think Boom Studios is going to have that many good books. First up today, we have Buffy the Vampire Slayer, 19. It has a cover A, B, and C. And for you Peach Momoko fans, cover C is done by Peach. I think it's okay, I'm not a big Peach fan, but I know a lot of people are loving her right now. After that, we have Mighty Morphin, number one, has a cover A, B, C, and D. I love all of these covers, and for you Power Rangers fans like myself, I'm going to be grabbing this one. I was really looking for a good jumping on point, and based on the description, it definitely is. It says, the next big epic begins right here, perfect for longtime fans and new readers alike. So this is something I've really been looking forward to. I've been looking for the hard covers, and they're just too expensive right now, so I'm really looking forward to this one. After that, we have a brand new series from Boom dropping called Origins. It's number one of six. It has a cover A. And just a little bit about this series, it says a thousand years after humans are killed off by artificial intelligence, one man is brought back to life, David Adams, who created the technology that destroyed his people. Now, with the help of the android Chloe who revived him, David will try to restore humanity and stop the AI overlords he created. David embarks on the greatest battle of his life seeking redemption while also discovering if humanity can or should have any kind of future. I'm really looking forward to this. That sounds awesome. I'm going to do my best to try to grab that. I think it's going to be really cool. But moving on from Origins, the final issue we have this week from Boom Studios is Wicked Things number 6. It has a cover A and a cover B. This is the final issue. I won't be picking it up. I'm not reading anything from Wicked Things right now. And based on the covers... I'm not really sure I like what it looks like, but that's it from Boom Studios. I told you I think it's going to be a very light week from them. Nothing in comparison to Image, but I'm definitely going to be getting Mighty Morphin. I'm most likely just going to go for cover A, but I do really like that cover B as well. And I'm going to see what I can do and pick up Origins because that sounds like a pretty cool story. But that is it from Boom Studios, and next up we're going to be talking about DC Comics. If you're a DC fan, I think this week might be good for you, but personally, I won't be picking up a lot of books. First up, we have Batman 102. It has a cover A and a cover B, and this is the first appearance of the Ghost Maker. So if you're reading Batman, do not miss out on this issue. After that, we have Batman The Adventure Continues. Six of seven has a cover A and a cover B. That series is wrapping up very soon. 
And then we have Deceased Dead Planet number five of seven. It has a cover A, B, and C. When I used to get Deceased, I always went for those Matina cardstock variants. I love them. I think they're gorgeous, but I haven't kept up with this one. The last Deceased thing that I read was the very first series, and then I had a small little tie-in type deal, and now they moved on to this. I'm just going to wait for a trade paperback, but I definitely will be reading it. From there, though, we have Hellblazer Rise and Fall, number two of three. It has a cover A and a cover B, so that will be ending very shortly. And then we have Justice League, number 56, has a cover A and a cover B. Nothing really special going on in any of those issues, but after that, I will be getting this one. Sweet Tooth, The Return, number one of six. It's written by Jeff Lemire, and a little bit about it because I really wasn't too sure about what Sweet Tooth really was. I know it used to be an ongoing, but I can't find the hardcovers for that right now, at least at a reasonable price. So it says, Sweet Tooth, The Return is a no rehash of the original series, but rather a bold reimagining of the Sweet Tooth mythology, taking elements of the original series and remixing them into something familiar, but totally new. A divided world, a planet long ago past the point of devastation, and at the center of it all, a child who didn't ask to be born into any of this, but who has no choice but to try and forge some life for himself. His visions and dreams may not be real at all, they may just be fiction, but they are hope, and sometimes hope is enough. I love Jeff Lemire, I've heard so many good things about Sweet Tooth, so I'm definitely going to be grabbing this one, I'm really looking forward to it, and personally I've just really been looking forward to reading something with the name Sweet Tooth on it. Continuing on with DC, we have Tales from the Dark Multiverse, Batman Hush number one, only has a cover A. I've read some Tales of the Dark Multiverse, I really wasn't a fan of most of the stories because I didn't know the original stories, and like that, I've never read the original Hush, so I'm probably not going to be grabbing this one. And then to finish off DC, we have Young Justice number 20, it has a cover A and a cover B. So there's not too many big books, in my opinion, coming out for DC that I'm going to be getting, but I am really looking forward to Sweet Tooth The Return number one. I am definitely getting that. Most likely just cover A, but we'll see how that goes. And that's going to be it for me from DC. So next we're going to be moving on to Marvel. While overall I do think it's a slower week for most publishers, I think Marvel does have some nice books coming out. First up we have Amazing Spider-Man number 51. This is a Last Remains tie-in. It has a cover A and a cover B. I think these stories have been on the slower side. They're not too good so far, but I know they are going to pick back up. And then we have Atlantis Attacks, number four out of five. It only has a cover A. I have no interest in reading this. I'm not going to be grabbing it. So moving on, we have Avengers, number 38. It has a cover A and a cover B. I'm also not caught up in this. I'm not reading it. I've heard a lot of good things about it, but I was too late in the game and just wasn't too interested at the time. Moving on, though, we have Avengers number 57, Facsimile Edition, coming out. I usually don't talk about these facsimiles, but I absolutely love this cover, and it's the first appearance of Vision, so I had to mention it. Next issue, I definitely will be getting, and surprisingly, I really like it. Black Widow number 3, it has a cover A and a cover B. I love that cover A. I just like the overall job that's been done with this series so far. I just picked it up because it was a slow week and I had no expectations from it and it turned out to be very good. It's only three issues deep so far, it's going to be an ongoing. You should check it out if you're interested in Black Widow at all. And then we have Captain Marvel 23 coming out. It has a cover A and a cover B. I love this cover B, but it has a first appearance in this issue. It doesn't say who it is, but it is mentioned and in the description it's redacted kind of who the parents are. So it might be a big issue. We'll see how that goes. I definitely am picking it up and I'll probably end up getting cover B. After that, we have Deadpool number eight coming out. Only a cover A. Not really interested in Deadpool. I don't know what it is. I'm not a big fan of Deadpool, and I read, I think, the first two issues of this series. I just didn't like it, so I dropped it. Same thing for this one, though. Guardians of the Galaxy number 8 coming out only has a cover A, and I just was not interested in this. I think I read the first three, maybe four, and I did not like it at all. And then we have a new series coming out called Hellstrom Marvel Tales number 1. It's an $8 oversized issue. It's pretty much just talking about Hellstrom. I'm not going to end up grabbing it. And then we have, for you X-Men fans, Marauders number 14 coming out has a cover A and a cover B, and this is the start of a brand new arc, so make sure you check it out. All the people who are reading this series so far, like everything with X-Men with the Ten of Swords, has been loving it. I can't say if I've liked it, I'm not reading it right now. At some point I will, just waiting for a trade paperback or a hardcover at this point, but make sure you check it out. Moving on from that, we have Miles Morales, Spider-Man number 20 has a cover A and a cover B. I love that cover B. That is a very nice cover. I'm a big fan of this series so far. They're talking about everything with Ultimatum right now. Really looking forward to see how that plays out. 
And then moving on, we have Rise of Ultraman, number three of five, has a cover A and a cover B. I wasn't a huge fan of issue one, so I didn't give issue two a shot. I do really like these photo stock variants. I think that's so cool. If I was getting this series still, I would definitely grab that because that was the first one I ended up getting, but I'm not getting it. And then for you Star Wars fans, Star Wars number eight is coming out. We have a cover A, B, and C for this one. Not going to be grabbing this one as well. Not a big Star Wars guy. Just not for me. And then moving on, we have Thor number 9 coming out. This is a brand new arc. Make sure you check it out. It has a cover A, B, C, D, and E. I really like the cover B variant. That's a Friesen Valkyrie Phoenix variant. Pretty cool. And for some reason, they're still doing these Fortnite variants. Not for me. I don't know. And then after that, we have U.S. Agent number one of five coming out. It's a brand new series. It has a cover A, B, and C. I'm going to be skipping out on this one as well. Just not really interested in it. And to be honest, the last few Marvel series that are just like a, out of one out of five, not a fan of. I've been skipping over them. The next one I will be getting though, Web of Venom, Empire's End, number one. It has a cover A and a B. And please tell me this is not the cover B that just says Noel is coming. Noel's been coming for over a year now. He's not here yet. He's coming in a few more months. We know when that time comes. I'm kind of over it. I'm going to be honest. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know down below in the comments section. But I will be getting this Web of Venom one because most of these Web of Venoms have been very good. And then we have another brand new series coming out. I definitely will be getting Wolverine Black, White, and Blood number one of four. It has a cover A and a cover B. And I know I just got done saying I try to stay away from these, but I think this is going to be awesome. It's an all black and white series, but the blood is still going to be red. It's just different stories about Wolverine. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm a big Wolverine fan, though. And then the final thing from Marvel we have today is X-Men 14 has a cover A and a cover B. Just more Ten of Swords, not really looking forward to it, not grabbing it. But I have, like I said, heard great things about the Ten of Swords series. But that is everything from Marvel. Like I said, pretty solid week from them, nothing too crazy. I am absolutely getting the Spider-Man Last Remains tie-in, most likely just to cover A. Definitely grabbing the Black Widow 3, cover A as well. Captain Marvel 23, the cover B, and as I was saying, that is a first appearance. And then moving on from that, Miles Morales Spider-Man number 20. Definitely going to try to get cover B. I love that cover. And then Thor number 9. I'll probably try to get the Friesen Valkyrie Phoenix variant, but if not, I'm pretty cool with just the cover A. And that's a brand new arc as well, so make sure you check that out. And then I'll be getting Web of Venom Empire's End number 1. Definitely cover A because that cover B, in my opinion, is dumb. And I'm definitely going to try and get Wolverine Black, White, and Blood number one. I really like both those covers. Not really too picky about it. But those are all the issues this week. I told you nothing too crazy. Definitely not that bad of a week, though. The one issue that I'm really looking forward to this week to getting is Crossovers by Donny Cates. It's been hyped up for a while now. A lot of people are saying it's going to be a huge issue. It's going to be awesome. And personally, I'm looking forward to it. But as far as investment purposes go, I'd probably check out Batman 102 because it is the first appearance of the Ghost Maker. I'm going to be honest, I don't think any of these issues really stand out for speculation and investment purposes. But if I had to choose one, it's most likely going to be that one. I think this week has just a lot more good reads. Nothing too crazy as far as price-wise goes and stuff you should be holding on to for the long run. And plus, I'm not reading that Batman run. It just has a first appearance. And for investment speculation purposes, that one stands out more to me than a lot of other of these issues. So thank you for watching my video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you don't want to miss out on any of my upcoming content, hit the subscribe button down low and the little bell to get notified every time I drop new content. You won't regret it. And I've got two more videos sitting off to the side here with more of my comic content. Click on one of those and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.